Hello. Uh, we want to show you this um, um, some information that um, we were looking for in a, uh, online, but we can't find much about it. I'm talking about uh, the rails for the incubators egg turner. This is for the chicken egg. This is for the quail eggs. Uh, what I wanted to do is I want to switch my egg turner to quail egg turner rails. But I cannot find a way to to take them off and uh, change them to use them. So I had to figure it out myself. And um, I want to share that with you all. And what you need to do um, to be able to change them. Because uh, I heard someone, a friend of mine, try to do it. But uh, they, did not, they didn't, did not do it. They couldn't do it. So that's that's what I'm doing, okay. I'm gonna do this first. You probably can't see it right now, but I'm gonna show you in a second what I'm doing, okay. All right. That's the rail right there. Let me see if I can show you that. Right there. Okay, for this to go in and, 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 and do its thing, there is no way that it's going to come out what is all hooked up, okay? So you have to unscrew it, and then you see how this one is coming out right here? This ones are, come out, are coming out right here, okay? And then what you got to do is line them up and put them all together at once, okay? You put them all together at once. All right, and once you got it all together, I'm put my phone right here, back over here. So after you got them all back in there together, you're gonna turn it a little bit. Probably need to move uh, one of them to make a turn. Then I'm gonna show you right here. Okay, I'm going to show you the way I'm putting it back together. Okay, this little thing goes back. I'm going to show you in a minute what I'm doing. Okay, goes back in there and line it up. You see where this, my finger is down below? Now my, that finger right there, you got to screw it back on there. Okay. So you lined up the holes. Don't move the piece, but you lined up the holes on it for the screws. I'm sorry, I'm just uh, trying to make it as, as I go, as I'm learning right here. But I want to, uh, I hope I can uh, show you clearly what I'm doing. Okay. I put one screw on it supposed to be one here and one here the only thing you got to do is take those off and this part will slide up okay and this little pivot right here goes into this rail which is the one that makes the the all the rails move at one time okay this right here it doesn't come out when this is connected okay you got to stretch this out pull it out and try to get it out. If you get them out, you're not going to be able to put them in without risking uh, breaking one of them. So what you do is take these two out, these two screws, and slide this up. I leave it on the right position, like I, like I took it out, put it on the side, and work on the rails. And then this will move freely. So you put snap all of them together, and they make move them so they'll catch in here. Okay. When they catch, you screw, um, you put them uh, on any position right here, any position. But when this goes in, it's gonna ask you to move the position, okay? And it'll move it to uh, that position. That's the position it was when you begin uh, to take when you begin to take them off, okay? And uh, that's how you do it. Now we got. See, I left one of the 
one of the chicken rails and I got the rest of them for quail uh, just to try it out which is gonna hatch some of them and uh, I'm just gonna finish putting the other screw on there and uh, at the same time we're gonna show you the little feeder that Ethan made that we are using okay you can show it Ethan Ethan is my son with this this feeder that is really working say hello to the camera Ethan <laughs> that's, hey. that's Ethan and we dropped something okay but um, this is something that he was making yesterday and we are actually using them okay I, uh, I got some for myself and and he is uh, using the other ones and uh, it, it really does it does work does we use them for those we use them for water I mean for food for food and the other ones more um, smaller ones more square than rectangular we use them for um, water and especially right now that is freezing outside okay okay once once you tie all the screws up let's say when you get all the screws in this will not move this will only move whenever this comes on whenever you plug it in so don't try to move this you might break something okay just make sure everything is snapping in position all right and that's all that's what we want to share since i can find no information about it i want to figure it out and show you guys how y'all can do it too thank you for watching and y'all have a great day